everyone it's another weekend again so that's why we're here in the garden but this weekend we're just going to continue doing up this project that i have started last weekend so we haven't finished that one all we have done is remove all the plants that i planted here and put it away so i haven't planted them yet and then we put it up this raised bed garden and fill up some soil so this weekend i'm just going to find some plants that i can put in this raised bed garden and the plants that I decided to plant in this raised bed garden are Ionium. So I'm going to look for a Ionium that I can plant in this raised bed garden. So join me guys, stick around and see what we can come up this weekend. So let's start finding some plants that I can put in that raised bed garden. So the plant I'm looking for is those plants that are already established and big. So I just move these things around so I can reach the plant that I want to move. So right here at the back, these are the plants that I have that's already a little bit bigger or established. So I think I'm going to put this one in the raised bed garden so it will grow bigger for me. So this one is Ionium Paspas. So this what it looks like so pretty and beautiful can you get this for me Han yeah. over here so we're going just to pass it on Matthew just put in the rice bed garden and then but some of these plant here I just repotted them so I'm not going to touch them for now I think we will try to put these this one here this is sunburst. no this is not sunburst I think some oh it's very heavy <laughs> poison 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 <laughs> poison I don't know if I um, pronounced it right so we'll put that away and then we have the I think this Medusa Mm, they're quite heavy. Here, I'll get it. Get it for me? So we let Matthew get that one. I'm just going to. And I think that I'm not sure if I have planted that lightly. I think. Can I have a look? Now, this one is so pretty. <laughs> Matthew's planted the wheat. Um, one sec. This is Medusa Hybrid, so yes, we will put Medusa Hybrid in that yeah, rice bed hybrids. garden. Okay, so Medusa Hybrid, we'll put it here, that's so pretty. There you go, so I have at least four, the other one is over there. And then... Um, because this one's just repotted. Maybe the wedding dress. Put wedding dress because this wedding dress is getting bigger now. And, and needs to uh, have a bigger part. So I'll better just put it here together with the other big ones. And you're right. <laughs> Alright, so um, I think... Ah, uh, this one, the super bang. I like super bangs. Yeah, a super bang. Here, can you hold it for me for now? And I'm going to put super bang here. So what do you think? The rice big garden. That's good. Yeah, I think I like that. And then we will get another more. I have here, um, probably this one here. But they are still very small, that one. We might put this one. This is Super Bang. No, Big Bang. Big bang, big bang, big bang. Fireworks. 
<laughs> and then we will get pink witch. Do you like pink witch? Has it got a, a witch. <laughs> then we have pink witch. Pink witch and big bang. So and let's see. Fireworks. We put big bang pink witch here. And those tall ones, we might put up right at the back. What do you think of that? I think this one will grow bigger later on, or taller. So we'll put it right here at the back. You think I can still put some more in the front? Yeah. Yeah? Got lots of room there. Lots of room. Okay, and next. Lots of room for oh, this one here. Uh, taller one. I like to put the taller one right at the back. One. It's hard to decide that one. which one. That one. This one? Yeah, that one up. That one there. Yeah. I just reported that, but yeah, let's do it. Because it's already big. <laughs> I just reported this though. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so we have that. How about that? Mm. So let's put these Ioniums in the rest bed garden. Now the reason why I like to repot them in a bigger container so that they're going to grow uh, way bigger <laughs> because if they are just in this small pot every growing season i have to repot them in way bigger pots so that they will grow bigger so by putting them here in this raised bed garden then they can just keep growing and i don't need to repot all the time all i need to do is cut some babies and propagate Okay. All right, so I got that one nicely. All right, so let's fill in. So the next one that we're going to repot is this beautiful Medusa hybrid. Just use our hands. <laughs> I think it's more easier to use our magic hands. Okay. Okay. So some of these I just repotted it in this pot to give them some room to grow. But this Ionium during their growing season, they just grow so quick. Look at that. Mm, pretty. Right. And I'm hoping that what I'm doing here will give them some room to grow bigger. Right, so the next one we're going to plant is this beautiful super bang. So this super bang, when they get a nice sunlight, enough sunlight, they really has a nice beautiful color. So we want to have more of this in our collection, so we will going to plant it here as well. So well, I hope, I hope what I'm doing here will give them a massive growth. So that's how I expand my collection with Ioniums, by always repotting them in bigger parts during their growing season.
so that's what it looks like now i like to put this one close to here to the big bang and this beautiful one is another ionium medusa you see the look of the ionium medusa so beautiful and this one is ionium medusa hybrid you see the color so i don't know it's just because of the sun exposure but this is medusa hybrid and this is the ionium medusa not hybrid just ionium medusa so right at the back here this is what it looks like when they don't get the sunlight so that's the difference of ionium medusa and hybrid pretty isn't it pretty love it but we're heading to spring and when spring times sometimes it get too hot and i think our ionia we're going to slow down the growing when it's getting hotter okay. right, let's dig in Right, so the next one is this Ionium wedding dress. So this wedding dress got a lot of beautiful babies underneath. They are not coloring up yet. And let's put it here so that they can grow bigger. So I think um, this raised bed garden is not big enough for this Ionium because they grow so big. Okay, so let's put this. I think this really needs to be repotted. It's struggling in this small pot. It wants to grow bigger, but it can't because the pot is too small. So hopefully by putting it here, it will going to give a massive growth. Right, so let's backfill that. So pretty. Now the next one is this one here. So this one I don't have an identification. I lost the ID for this beautiful one here. This one. This Aeonium. So pretty. Have a beautiful nice color. But I don't have the identification. So here they are so far. So beautiful. And I decided to add this Chanel in here, in this raised bed garden. Those, because the Chanel is growing so small, the rosettes are small, it's not getting big. So see how it goes when it be planted in this raised bed. If it will going to grow bigger. Okay. we are now in the front I'm planting this pink witch here this beautiful beautiful pink witch one of everyone's favorite pink witch okay. All right. just position it Right, so the pink witch is done. So the next one we're going to plant is this Aeonium Chanel. This Aeonium Chanel also has a beautiful color. Now, if you're wondering what's this, I did plant some, not plant, but put some dry rosemary in here. Because I noticed that um, ants don't like the rosemary. So I put rosemary on, on the part of this Aeonium Chanel. So that's only my observation. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like when I put that um, rosemary in this pot, the ants avoid this Ionium Chanel. Okay. Oh, 
see. See how pretty is that? Gorgeous. So we are done planting and here they are. At the moment guys we have a very um, windy weather today so pardon me if you can hear the noise of the wind but let's have a closer look and before I'm going to give you a closer look I like to update you with my grafted ionium that my friend Beverly made for me so here it is So we have few varieties of Ionium there. The mother plant will be this green one, green Ionium. So we have this Ionium Velour. Then we have the Mardi Gras. We have the Sunburst. I think this one is um, short black. I'm not 100% sure. Then I added up with another. Uh, this one is Sisha Fairy and the Super Bang. So that one is just new so that is why it's not growing uh, big yet and then over here we also put a pink witch but the pink witch i cut the head and now it's already growing few heads in this pink witch and there's a lot behind as well so here it is the grafted one you see it's all grafted and it's really doing well Okay, so let's have a closer look on the raised bed garden. So this one here, we have the Ionium Poseidon or Poseidon. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And then we have the beautiful Medusa Hybrid. And then up the front here, we have the Pink Witch. Beautiful Pink Witch. Now I can get some babies in between of the Pink Witch. But I just going to leave that for now. And then we have this cluster Chanel. Now all of this part that you're seeing on the leaf, that's um, pollen. So we have a lot of pollens happening at the moment. And it's very windy too as well. And then behind the Chanel, we have the super bang. Beautiful super bang. And then we have the Medusa. So don't get confused with the Medusa and Medusa Hybrid. So Medusa Hybrid and Medusa. So pretty, isn't it? So I have a lot of babies behind growing there. Beautiful. And then in front of this Medusa, we have the yawning aeonium yawning and then we have the aeonium magi so if this magi got a lot of sunlight the color will be also darker and then behind the magi we have the wedding dress and lots of baby underneath as well so I didn't cut the head or the top head of this wedding dress to produce some baby. They just produced baby on me this year. So see lots of babies underneath and there as well. And then from here we have this Maya. So that's Maya, still very small. And then behind, I think this is cherry blossom. I'm not 100% sure because I lost the ID. The wind blow it away. So it's really windy here where we are. Okay, so that's the Ionium that I planted here in this raised bed garden. So I hope that this Ionium will grow bigger for me because they have more room to grow.
so they are not constricted in the pots but my BFF Beverly uh, suggested that I can put these ones behind in a bigger pot and then plant it in the rice bed garden so they have a different height from the front which is really a good idea maybe one day I'm going to do that but for now I don't have much time so I just leave them there for now so everything is temporary it depends of on how they grow so if they grow bigger then we can thin it out anyway and then build more raised bed garden and put them or put them in a way bigger pot so let's have a look the ionium shelving so here's the ionium shelving so what's left in here are those um, single head one so there's a lot more of these single heads but on the top there there are the cluster one that's been started from the single head as well so here they are as you see it's really uh, windy today and the weather is not good so that is why I haven't um, have a video lightly because of the weather it's raining and really windy so some of my plant here actually has so that's blown it for away today's by video, the guys. So but I'm sure there's more new to ones. come. And I hope you found this helpful okay. and that they inspire you to apply them in your own garden. And thank All you right, for so watching. That's it for now, don't guys, forget to subscribe, um, like and leave it a comment. It's raining already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.